one key was 93 mil. So they one key Ultra Nightmare already, which is nice on this comp. So today we have a champion showcase redemption from Sir Gangsalot, and he would like you to see his Anax. He put Anax into an unkillable comp. He's very, very excited with him, and he has him in a Batman forever. One key was 93 mil. So they one key Ultra Nightmare already, which is nice on this comp. One key 93 mil, and you can see, you can see what we got. So we have Farrakhan, we have Anax, Seeker, Tower, and Warcaster. So this is a really nice example of another unkillable team that does not have Maneater in it. We were talking about this earlier today, how there's, there's difference, there's all kinds of different ways to do an unkillable team that doesn't always incorporate man-eaters, right? And then here's one. So this one's a Batman Forever comp and you see what the team is. And using some favorites, like Tower and Warcaster. Nightmare looks like 108 mil, one key. And so he asked us to showcase it on Brutal. And we have a team set up too. So let's take a look at the team set up. Is there anything special here? Okay, so Anax is set to use the Soul Feast ability as a one, which attacks an enemy 75% chance of placing a weaken, okay? So it looks like Anax. Seeker is set for Devour, his A1. Tower is set to use Rebu Rebuke, Zone of Protection, and not his A2, which is Sanction. The block active skills and block buffs, which is true, that kind of wastes the spot, right? Since you don't need that. And then Warcaster is set to use his A1 and A3, but not the Ceiling Strike. Okay, so this is the team that we have. I'm obviously not going to touch it. <laughs> Look, Linda Balls. And so we're going to run this on Brutal. He said it's good to go. It's auto from the start. And let's see how it looks. All right, let's go. Let's see how much damage we can do on Brutal. But you guys are seeing that it one keys Ultra Nightmare. And I love that, guys. I love the team attack. That is so cool. That is just really, really cool. So what do you guys think? Go ahead and predict. 110 mil plus or minus. What do you guys think? Yep. We don't know Pink Keeper, no man eaters. Very nice. And so my guess is like you don't have to use Anax. You could use Fane. Like you can use any other strong DPS in my in that slot, would be my guess too. With Farrakhan, you can build everyone with 70% crit, so it makes gearing easier and it can get more damage. So, so far, turn 20, they're at 44 mil. What do we think, guys? Over 110? What do we think? What do we think? Thousand hits from Anax. He's definitely, he's the DPS for sure. Look at those hits, huh? 
141, 133. Even Tower, I mean, Tower just hit for 159. So those hits are just really good. Beat down, I love it. That's just so cool. Turn 40, we're at 93 mil. Turn 40, 93 mil. Okay, 112. Those of you that set over 110. 113, we hit the over, well done, well done. All right, Farkin did 17 and a half mil, look at Anax. 41 and a half mil, Seeker 21.6, Tower 18.4, and Warcaster 14. Very nice. All right, so we'll start with Tower. Here's tower. Tower, we have crit damage, crit damage, crit damage, immunity, crit damage, and daze. So he does have some crit damage pieces on here and then some mix-up pieces as well. And then let's take a look at his stats. Okay. 42 and a half for health. 3,000 attack, 2,000 defense, speed is 245. Crit rate, 72%. Crit damage, 258%. Low accuracy. So this is Tower. And here's Tower's Masteries. Next is Warcaster. So Warcaster looks like he's in some perception pieces. Resilience and a curing piece here. So some perception and some mixed. And here are the total stats for Warcaster. 36, 1,000 health. 3,500 attack, 1,400 defense, 266 speed, 67% crit, 204% crit damage, and then 155 accuracy. And here's the masteries. Next is Seeker. So here's, here's Baddie Boy. Divine speed, a speed, another speed set, perception, fatal, and divine speed. So divine speed and speed sets. And here are his stats. So he has a 28,000 health, 3,400 attack, 2,000 defense, 250 speed, 81% crit rate, 247% crit damage, and low accuracy. Yes, there's a crit rate buff. That's why no one's crit capped, okay? Yep. No one's crit capped because of that. That's intentional. Because what that means is not having to be crit capped means you could work on crit damage. Crit damage, you could work on speed, like there's other things you could work on, right? And then here's Seeker's Masteries. Who does you wanna see that? Yeah, it makes gearing a lot easier. You could bring in more attack or crit damage when you don't have to work about being crit rate capped, right? Next is Farkin. So Farkin looks like he's got a couple mix, but he does have crit damage, crit damage, perception, stun, perception, and swift parry. So a couple sets and a couple mix pieces. And here's his stats. So he has 28,000 health, 3,300 attack, 1,700 defense, 246 speed. He is crit capped. He's at 102. Crit damage, 221%, and his accuracy is at 257. So this is for Farrakhan, and here's a Farrakhan's Masteries here. Last one is Anax. So again, so he does have, he's a Perception, Cruel, Crit Damage, Cruel, Crit Damage. So he has a couple sets, and then a couple mix, all right? And then here's his stats. 2,700 health, 5,300 attack, 1,300 defense. His speed is 219. 73% crit rate, 239% crit damage, and then 253 accuracy. Those are his stats, and then here's his masteries. For people wondering why 
Farrakhan's the only one that's crit capped because with his skill, it doesn't affect him. It's everybody else. So Sir Ganks a lot, thank you very, very much for letting us showcase this. Guys, I hope you enjoyed. So round of applause.